Shai Holy Days won't be entirely traditional this fall. The Jewish Alliance of Greater Rhode Island tells 12 News some congregations opting for virtual services while others are trying to do modified in-person services in ways that keep the congregants safe this weekend. Alexandra Leslie spoke with one local rabbi about his temple's plans. At a time when many of us are looking forward to the year to come, Rosh Hashanah's time of introspection has more meaning than ever. Rabbi Jeffrey Goldwasser tells me that the community aspect of the High Holy Day won't change just because their services have to. The Jewish community is looking forward to a much better 5781 than 5780 turned out today. Cranston's Temple Sinai has been largely empty since March, with weekly services happening on Zoom. Unfortunately, the synagogue won't be filled with congregants for its High Holy Day services. If this is what we've got, we want to do it in the way that is most meaningful. Rabbi Jeffrey Goldwasser says Friday night, Temple Sinai's Rosh Hashanah Seder will be on Zoom. He says the virtual service on Passover was a hit. People really love being able to sit around their dining room table with the entire Temple Sinai community. But after that, there will be a way to see some of the traditions in person. <laughs> like the blowing of the shofar, which the community can watch from their cars in Temple Sinai's parking lot on Saturday. We're going to be putting a mask on the mouth of the shofar uh, so that uh, so we're not creating aerosols. Later in the month, another holy day will also be affected. A kid's ceremony on the morning of Yom Kippur, which involves a story time, singing and sharing food, is canceled. If you wanted a before and after picture, that is definitely the before picture. Rabbi Goldwasser tells me they're sticking with virtual services for now, and the temple's religious school will be held remotely. I'm Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.